Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable I. Chester Cooper, sticking by a claim he made repeatedly while in opposition, and that's that the Minnis administration's decision to sell the beleaguered Grand Lucaya Hotel was a bad deal for Bahamians. He contends better investments in properties like the Grand Lucaya will drive that island's economy. We are concerned about the property. Uh, we are concerned about the deal that's in place. There is an agreement in place, and therefore I will not say too much beyond what I've said for public consumption before. I've said two years ago, perhaps, it was a bad deal. I said that when I visited Grand Bahama. I maintain that it's a bad deal for the Bahamian people. Uh, we are looking actively to see how we can advance the development investment of the property. The people of Grand Bahama needs a break. Uh, the economic engine will be driven uh, by investments in, in properties like this and others. Uh, we actively engage in causing there to be more investment opportunities in the Bahamas by foreign as well as domestic investors. Uh, in due course, we will make a further announcement in relation to the Grand Lucayan. Uh, suffice to say, it's high on our agenda. And uh, if we don't go to bed thinking about it, we wake up working on it. If you missed anything, we've got you covered. Subscribe to our ZNS Network YouTube channel and follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for breaking news, live event coverage, web exclusives, and much more.